Okay, y'all, right here, I got one of those little snow frame, snow frame, <laughs> whatever, already, snowman wreath frames from the Dollar Tree. And I was like, oh, I don't want to wrap this with all this white yarn. So I thought, let me try this. Y'all, this is so much easier. I just cut a piece, I folded it in half. I did like the lark's head knot, and then I'm wrapping it by twos. I got really fancy um, throughout it and wrapped it by eights, but I'm like, that's just way too much. It, it looked a bit thicker, so. But what I did start doing when I'm done here is I did wrap it all the way up to the neck. I wanted y'all to see that, like, way underneath it because I, I just uh, wanted every bit of it to be covered, but it didn't matter in the long run because I um, put a scarf on him. Anyway, and when I got finished, I just split my yarn and I tied it off. But right here, I'm showing you, I took a long piece of yarn. And I took the two ends and I took the loop where I folded it and met it all together. And see how I'm doing that right there? Y'all, this cut, no joke, wrapping this thing, the time in half. I mean, it was it was insane. It went so much faster. And um, I would suggest doing that if you have, like, small yarn. You could probably do it with something thicker. But um, for sure with, like, yarn or jute or something. Like, look at that. Oh, my gosh. It was crazy. Um, I got all of it wrapped in, in about half an hour's time. But anyway, I know y'all's like a half an hour, but still. Anyway, I'm just talking, talking. And I take that black yarn. That's from the Dollar Tree, too. And, and I do the same thing. I try to do it by fours, but it was just way, just way too thick. It was just not looking right, especially for the hat. If I was just doing the round part, it'd probably been okay. But anyway, as I'm doing a hat there, when I come to that corner, I stop and I actually um, split it. And I just take one piece, and I'm wrapping that one, like, all the way, tucking it through, up and around that. Um, because, yeah, it was just working that way easier, and it just looked better that way. And then, whenever I was finished with it, of course, I just ran it back through, and I knotted it. And then, so I can move on to the next part. And instead of starting at the bottom on the next one... I started where I left off there, and I just worked my way around. And when I stopped here, slowed down, I did the same thing, going around that corner with one piece. And then after I got past it, I grabbed both pieces together and just wrapped it up, y'all. And then um, when it comes to those little things, I wrapped it out, and I wrapped it in. And it was all the way out to the end of it and all the way back again and didn't glue it or anything. It was fine. And then when I got there to fill that gap, I just wrapped one piece of, um, tied one piece of yarn to it and just wrapped it around. Now I did have to glue it there at the top to end it because I had that thing wrapped up so tight like a mummy. It was crazy. But anyway, so after we get done with that part, um, I'm going to take a, uh, stick, a craft stick here and I take and just tie that black yarn to it. Um, I hot glue it there and, like, push it out to the end so I could get that end covered. And just wrapped it up real good. And then just closed it up and cut it off with hot glue. And I'm going to hot glue it to that. That was too thin. I didn't like that. So, I just, yeah, I thought that would look better. And then um, I had to clip it down, clamp them down. And then I just decided to take some of that black yarn and tie it really tight around it to get it to, and it worked. And you can't even tell where I had done it. So I'm going to take jute twine and, oh my goodness, wrapping those little fingers. It's not like it's hard, but it jabs you and it keeps getting hooked. And you can use sticks or just put little mittens on his hand if you want, but... I found like this was easier if you take a piece of jute and like glue it down to the end of it and leave a little piece and then just wrap it. It's easier to go from the outside in than the inside out. And then I got that pretty yarn from Dollar Tree and I just knew I wouldn't have enough. So that's why I went ahead and covered it with that other. And then I wrapped it like four times around the head and four times around the body. And when I was finished, I tied it all off. And then I'm going to take that sign from the Dollar Tree. That was a uh, Thanksgiving or a fall sign thanksgiving <laughs> anyway and um i painted it black i'd already removed the paper from it and i got a furniture repair marker and i got them on the edges because i don't like for them to be undone unfinished i can't talk and then i put a coat of mod podge on it and i'm going to take that calendar those are from this year and that one is for january and i loved that and i wanted to use it before i could it so anyway um 
I'm going to take some heat transfer tape because those are slick and, and it was moving around. And I was like, this thing is not going to lay still while I iron it on straight. So, and then I just take my little heat press and that reactivates that glue and it helps that paper stick to my sign. And then I made sure it stuck really good and I removed my tape. And then I'm just going to sand the edges off with my finger sander. And then that is from the Ugly Truth guys, that little wood piece. And um, it fit perfect behind the head. And it's eight inches, y'all. And I'm taking one of those um, uh, car wash dry towels. I don't know what it is. From the Dollar Tree. And I cut, some, I cut it to fit. And I cut slits in it. And then I'm just going to hot glue it, pull it up all the way around. Um, and try to cut off as much excess as I could. And still, I had too much. And I went ahead and trimmed that back. And then um, I'm going to take another piece and lay it on the back of it and just going to hot glue all the way around it and lay it down on there. And then we're going to cut the excess off that. And then um, I'm going to take Aileen's Tacky Glue. And I did space it out. I know it just looks like I ran it around it, but I didn't. And hot glue where I didn't put the uh, Aileen's Tacky Glue. And I'm going to glue it to my little snowman wreath form there. But you have to clip it down, you know, make sure... It you know, you give it ample time to dry. I did let it dry overnight, and I did the same thing with his little head. Um, and, yep, just put that down there. And, like I said, I let it dry overnight. So, anyway, after it was dry, I'm showing you, I'm claiming it. I got that material from the Dollar Tree uh, a couple years ago, and I I love that. And I never, it's kind of like a gray, but it's almost like a flannel-y feeling away. It's, it's nice. And I had just enough to do this. A scarf and stuff but anyway when you if you do something with material don't glue it all the way to the end like leave the ends unglued glue most of it in the center and then um i'm going to take this piece i'm going to do the same thing but I, you glue it all the way for the scarf we're not going to glue it all the way because we're going to cut it and you just don't want that hot glue to deal with it cutting it and stuff it's just easier to not and then i'm going to take and wrap that around his little hat gonna hot glue that down real good and then, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yep, I'm just going to hot glue Anyway, sorry. Oh, no. Um, that I leave in, but everything else I go 90 miles per hour. And then I take my scarf, and I like, I scrunch my scarf, my scarf, and I like pinch it, like scrunch it down into that hot glue because I want it to look like, you know. And then there I'm just cutting my slits in to look like my little fringes on my scarf. And... I'm not going to tie it. I'm going to take that. That was the last piece of it right there. And I got so lucky it worked this way. And I'm going to fold it to, hot glue it and fold it to. And um, I'm going to wrap it around um, his scarf there to make it look like it had been tied. Like there was a little knot in it there. Because I'm extra, y'all. Yep. I am extra. And, yep, just going to hot glue that down. And, um, yeah, there we go. Well, Maybe. I'm still hot gluing it down. And then, oh, I'm going to take, that was a little piece of uh, pine with um, a little pine cone stuck to it. And then I took lamb's ear and I cut it down because it was, it seemed, it was just too big. And I took two pieces of it actually and I cut it down and I put it on his little hat. And um, then I'm going to take, um, oh, another pine cone. And I did take some pretty little like frosting stuff to him put on his hat and here he is y'all and i think he is just too cute what do y'all think oh my goodness i know i just think he's adorable for winter for your door inside anything yeah if y'all like him let me know okay this came from miss wanda cruz this little tobacco basket and i'm just gonna paint it with um rust oil and white chalk paint just just clean it up and i'm gonna take that ribbon that I got from the Walmart. Um, I don't know if I got it last year or year before last, you guys. Um, I'm just like, I'm okay. I'm cutting it as I weave it. I'm, I'm, cut, I'm not trying to weave it all the way through. You know what I mean? I'm just cutting pieces because I know that's going to be much easier. And I do the entire basket. And then I got those little mittens from the Dollar Tree. Just so cute. And uh, oh, I'm going to take some more of that car wash towel i i don't know what it is y'all and i'm gonna wrap it around the bottom of my little mittens and then i'm gonna hot glue that down and i'm gonna do it for both of them of course and then 
<laughs> I don't know. I just wanted to show y'all me hot gluing stuff down. Nothing else but hot gluing stuff. <laughs> I was afraid y'all wouldn't know. So, anyway, sorry this... You guys, I'm going to get on a schedule soon. I'm telling you, just after holidays, everything has been hectic. My craft room looks like a bomb. I mean, literally went off in there. Anyway, and I'm just going to take the, the what's left over, that car wash towel, and I'm just going to stuff my little gloves full. And then I got that ornament like two or three years ago, you guys, from Target. And um, seriously, I've had it forever. And I'm going to paint both sides of it with... um that rich black by folk art and then i'm gonna take some uh gingham black white gingham ribbon here and i'm gonna hot glue it down on the inside of my gloves with the thumbs facing each other i mean i want them to be facing like you know the right way and then i'm gonna take those little foam snowflakes from the dollar tree and i'm gonna take i have like a large and a medium and small and i'm gonna take the medium ones and put it on my little gloves Y'all, this thing is adorable. Oh, my gosh. It's to die for. I didn't know what I was doing, and then I did it, and I just love it. But um, on my cricket, I cut it out. You're never too old for a snowball fight. And I think that's the truth because my dad is 73, and you get out in the snow with him, he is going to throw a snowball at you. But anyway, I had, yeah, and then I just uncut it there because... Like I said, I was going a completely different route. I was going to get my snowman a pair, but anyway. And then I'm just going to take like a little um piece of pine and pine pick and then those little that glittery. It's called berry something. I got it from the Walmart for like 94 cents or something. And I'm going to put them down in my little gloves. And then I'm going to take them little white uh berry ball things and put them down my little gloves and then i'm going to tie that and then i'm going to take another piece of um gingham ribbon and i'm going to make like a little loop there this is going to be a hanger and i'm going to put it through that that i just tied and i'm going to double knot that and like i said it'll be a hanger but i plan on just setting it on a shelf i don't plan on hanging it up but you could do it either way that's why i put it on there just in case and then i'm Okay, this bow, y'all, is another finger bow, but it's different. Now, look, I wrapped that around my index finger twice. And for a double loop bow, I'm wrapping it around my finger and thumb twice. And I'm going to drop it down between my index finger and my thumb, pull it up, put it through that loop, pull it towards me really, really tight, and then remove it from your finger. And on your index finger, you'll have that ribbon, and you unloose that, and that's another tail. And then you pull out your... Uh, loops and there you go and um, that's a, another way you can make a finger bow for y'all struggling to do it the other way and then I'm going to take Aileen's tacky glue and hot glue and I'm going to hot glue my little round ornament thingy on there and that is all and I hope y'all love this as much as I do um oh I did put some weight on it for it to dry and then I added two little uh, pine picks. Oh, yeah, I wasn't finished. And then I was like, well, and I took these other little berries and I made a little snowball pile on my little um, ornament thingy there. And then I took um, three more of those berries there and I added another little snowball pile um, in the bottom of that. So, yeah, I hope y'all like it. Look at it. It's so cute. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I love it. It looks like <clears throat> it matches those skates that I did last year. Oh, my goodness. Just what a cute pair to go together. You know what I mean? Even with the white snowflakes and everything. I just think this is my last winter, Christmas, anything DIY, uh, video, y'all. So, sorry. I had plans on so much more. I just ran out of time. But, okay. This is double-sided. So, right here... I got that sign there from the Dollar Tree. I wish I'd gotten more of those, but I didn't. So, yeah. Anyway, um, and I'm just going to remove the paper now. Um, what I do is I spritz it down. And then I wait just a couple minutes, two, three minutes. And um, I take my scraper and I start scraping it, the paper off. And um, then when I get all the paper off, I spray it again. And watch this. I'm going to show y'all. Look at the extra glue that comes off that, you guys. It is crazy. And that way, um, my paper isn't tacky or anything. Um, so I just shove it on off my sign, and I wipe it up off my mat. Of course, I clean my blade. I always spray it with alcohol when I'm done. And then um, if it's bent, I like I hold it in the opposite direction. Like I bend it like firm in opposite direction and I dry it with my heat tool and then I painted it um 
black on both sides. And then I got my little stencil there. I'm just going to tape it down. And I taped it all the way down because it was that design was really close to the edge. And I knew I'd paint where I didn't want to. So I took that little stencil brush from the Dollar Tree and tap, tap all over the sign except for my sled. Brenda got me that antique green. It's my favorite green paint to use, you guys. And I always call Vintage Green, and she says, that's wrong. But anyway, she's mean to me sometimes. She She's my best friend, but I just must be glutton for punishment. But anyway, I did paint um the little uh, 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 blade things on the sled and the little jingle bells down at the bottom in, that, uh, in Silver Lining by Waverly. And that green just wasn't showing up enough for me, so I did go over the sled with red. And then we're going to flip it over and we're going to take that calendar and we're going to take this rooster. And y'all, I love this. Um, and I lay it down on my sign and I just rub around it to see where I need to cut off because it is too um, big. And I'm going to take my paper trimmer and I'm going to cut it down. Um, and you got to be careful because those things, are, they're really, really thin. And I did like scuff a little, I like tore a little piece of my paper but that's fine because after what I do it won't matter and then um I take a, a little teeny tiny piece off and I cover I put it over my hole then I'm gonna give a coat of Mod Podge set it aside let it dry when it does I'm gonna take a piece of parchment paper lay it on it and I'm gonna iron it I'm gonna heat that up to reactivate that um Mod Podge so it will stick and then I take extra pieces of the paper I cut off so save that when you trim it down and I'm going to iron that on to the very bottom because my sign was just a little bit too long. And then I'm going to take my finger sander and sand around the edges again. But then I lay it down flat. And then I go, ham. Hey, you see what I'm saying? I'm like, saw, 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 saw. Anyway. And then here again with my black furniture repair marker, I like to go around, of course, the sides. I want it to look finished. But I go up on my page a little bit this time, um, like outlining it. And then I'm going to take my sander and I'm going to sand it. I mean, I'm going to sand it. And then so, um, then I'm going to take Waverly Antique Wax and I'm going to start distressing it. And I take one of them stencil brushes from Dollar Tree. And I'm doing like a circular motion all the way around it, you guys. Um, I, I've been asked how I do it. Just circular, like little tiny, tiny quick circles all the way around my sign. And then I put it all over the rest of it, even on the rooster. And it's going to say chicken. And then I'm going to dry it real well because of the antique wax. And then I'm going to cover it again with Mod Podge. But first, I make sure I go over my little tiny piece of paper I laid down there real good. Because I want to make sure that it sticks and stays over that hole. Y'all, I know. Still, I got this stupid cold. Oh, and then that's that other kind of Mod Podge I was saying. And then I'm going to take the original little pieces that came on it. And I could not find my holes. So, I just had to make new ones. I didn't cover them. I just had to make new ones. And um, I, I had the tack still that was in on the sign originally. Sorry. And then um, I'm trying to make sure they're even here. But I flip it over. And what I do is tack it down with some of that big and fabric tack glue. Um, because I don't want it moving all over the place. And then I'm going to take some thumbtacks from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to pound them in. And um, I'm going to take some that gingham ribbon again. And I'm going to make a little bow on that side. And then I'm doing that same finger bow right there. And making a bow for this side. Yep. And I'm just going to hot glue that down. And there we go, y'all. That's it. And I love this one, too. And, um, yes, I love it. Old-fashioned. Yes, it is. I wish I would have sanded around the edges of that now that I think about it. But, I mean, I could still do it. But I didn't do it for the video, you know. And, yes. I hope y'all like that. I think that's adorable. And, um, yeah. And then we're going to flip it over. And there we go. I love this. I love it. I just, I love it. I do. <laughs> Something so simple. A calendar picture for $1.25 and a sign for $1.25 from the Dollar Tree. And look at it. Yes, I know. Okay. Now, this one's double-sided also. It's three calendar pieces. Um, and then, yes, I'm going to take that one, and that's that little, little goat, but anyway, it's so cute, and I'm just going to trace it out, I listened to y'all, your survey, I didn't get any gnomes, but I'm going to get gnomes, uh, next video should be, I have a cute idea for it, but y'all want to see calendar pieces, 
and you wanted to see um, winter, and you wanted to see every day, and <laughs> I tried to get as much in there as I could. Anyway, just doing the same thing here, here, y'all, just, you know, iron it, sand in it, um, and going, oh, that's a cheapy brush. I tried to respond to your comment, and now I've already forgotten who it was that asked me, but when I say chippy brush, that is a chippy brush, so anyway, I'm just going to paint over the entire sign with white, and then I'm going to take, and I'm going to trace this, yeah, um, I'm going to cut it out, and then I'm going to cover my sign with Mod Podge, um, yeah, I know, the lamb was on, the, we're on the other side now, and I painted this side white, obviously, um, I was just going to do where the little hat was going to be, but I decided to just cover the entire sign because I was going to need to anyway. And then I put my little piece down that I traced and cut out. And then I'm going to cover it again with my punch. And then, um, oh, I'm going to take, this is what started the car wash towel. Um, this one was done a week ago. Anyway, and I'm just going to hot glue like a, a fold in it there and cut it out. And then I'm going to take and lay it on top of my little toboggan there or beanie, whatever y'all want to call hat. We'll just say hat. And I'm going to hot glue it all the way around this little head. And then I'm going to cut it off the excess so you don't see it, you know, on the other side. And this, faces. Um, I was asked to show when I draw a face to show more of it. So I just... I don't know, y'all. I mean, the eyes are crooked. You can always fix them. I just, I just, I don't know. I just, yeah. I mess up a lot. And and then I just erase it. But see, see? And then, and that's no big deal. I need no erasers. Um, or probably, I got a ton of pencils downstairs. I just need to sharpen one. Anyway, you can paint over that. Trust me, I do. I do it all the time when I mess up. And then I got my glass uh, marker there. It's getting kind of dry, so all oh, that looks all jaggedy, but that's okay. You don't have to worry about it. It can be fixed. And I just trace over where I drew the eyes, and then I'm just making some, you know, like like rainbow shapes. And I actually end up changing the eyes later um, where I traced out the, where the pupil, not the pupil, the, Y'all will see. I know. And then I just take my Sharpie and go over the mouth because of that. My poor little glass marker was just not uh, not working very well. And then I'm going to take my um, black chalk paint. And I'm, I'm constantly dipping in water and cleaning my brush and keeping my brush kind of like damp for the chalk paint because it's very thick. And I take an ocean and painted him his eyes, but I painted his mouth and everything with that black chalk paint. And I'm going to take some of this orange burlap, and I cut him out a little carrot nose. But then I take nutmeg, and I'm going to make him some little freckles, just taking my brush and dabbing it on his little face. And then I'm going to hot glue his little nose on just at the end, each end, because I kind of like it being, like, uh, whimsy-like. And then I'm going to take blush um, by Waverly, and I'm going to paint the inside of his little mouth and his little cheeks. Now, I'm going to take this same paintbrush I've been using, and I dipped it in water and barely dipped it in chalk paint, and I'm just going to paint some eyelashes on, y'all. That's just, just, just lightly touching the, yep. And then I gave him some little, like, whites of his eyes, but then I ended up painting over that. But y'all will see, but I ended up doing the same thing anyway. I painted all that black. And then I take a um, paint marker, it's an acrylic paint marker, and I just did the eyes like that because there was too much white showing for his eyes for me. And then um, I painted black around it. And here I'm just taking a piece of cardboard that came out of that calendar, and I cut me two little mittens out. And I'm going to take my glue stick and put it all over it real good. And I'm going to take that paper I used for his hat and glue that paper on the little cardboard, and then just going to sand off around it. Then going to take my car washing towel again, and glue it at the bottom of his little mittens there for his little fuzz. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then just cut off the excess, y'all. And then, and now and then, I ain't done that in a long time. I'm going to glue him to his face like he's smiling. I saw this at Hobby Lobby, a little picture like this, and I just thought it was too cute like he's smiling. And then, ooh. And then, ugh, I take some of that car wash towel, 
and I make him a little like, yeah, on the top of his hat. And then I'm going to take some greenery there and lay it down. You're going to want something flat or glue it as flat as you can. And then I'm going to take a little snowflake there. It's been stained with um, something. I stained it anyway. I'm going to hot glue that down. And then, oh, I'm going to take my, uh, my knife here and I'm going to jab through that ball on the tip of his hat. And I'm put my yarning needle through it and I'm going to hook jute to it and I'm going to pull it through because it was hard to get through, y'all. And then I'm going to make a lark's head knot here with the twine that's left over. And then I'm going to take more of that car washing towel, cut out more, and I'm going to cover it up so it covers up that jute. Now we got a little hanger and you can't even tell. Now to the other side, I'm going to take um, Waverly Antique Wax and I'm going all over my sign, all over my sign. And then, um, what did I do? I took a pencil and went across with lines like to try to, you know, uh, make it all blend together with my handle and stuff like that. Which, it doesn't look the greatest, but we fix it. I mean, and when it's done, you can't tell. It looks it looks nice. And then I take a wet uh, wipe, and I'm just rubbing really hard and distressing it that way. And then I take some beads Miss Shelly Craig sent me two years ago. Y'all, look how many of them I still have. I take four of them. It was, um, it's one of those, yeah, beaded garlands for, like, Christmas trees. And I'm going to tie a knot in it and to hold the beads on. And I'm going to go up higher, and I'm going to tie another knot for a hanger. And then, um, what am I doing? Oh, I take two little pieces of lamb's ear. We're going to glue it down there to our sign. And then I'm going to take two, uh, no, just one. I take a bow, um, from something from fall. I got a little bucket of bows. And then a raffia bow that I made this past fall and didn't use. And I'm going to glue it down on there. And that is it. And here, here he is. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Y'all. Anyway. He is too cute. I hope y'all like him too. Yeah, I had to make the eyes bigger because it was just so much white. And he's already white being a snowman, of course. And I just wanted it to, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to flip it over. And here, I think this is our little goat. I think that is adorable. I do. <coughs> <coughs> Both these going to hang in my kitchen, y'all. And... Here's everything. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like I said, um, I'm going to try to get back on the schedule. I know, it, like, I let out my video last Monday. Now it's Tuesday. But anyway, at the end here, I, I do have um where I opened up one of my gifts. And I've got, I'm recording, recording them and recording them to try to fit them in my video. And um, I, I love y'all from by my heart, and I hope y'all have an amazing week. And that's just where I flip my signs open, y'all. And I will see you Sunday. Yes, for sure, Sunday. I love you. Mwah. Anyway, oh, Miss Barbara Stump, look, she made that uh, copy. My Hers is so much better, though. Good job, Barb. I love you. Okay, y'all, I'm going to try to do these in order. I think I may have one mixed up. But anyway... So, um, uh, and I'm sorry, I'm so late with this, you guys. It's just, you know, it's, it's the season has been very hectic. But anyway, with all the gifts, y'all, I love y'all. But, um, I think Miss Valerie Allison was first. Like, you guys, wait till you see what she sent me. And look what she made. I think she made these for me. I don't know. But if she, I, yeah. So, this one's already been used. Sorry. Yeah. And then I, um, I've washed it and ironed it. But anyway, because I did use some of this stuff. But if I did, you know, I let people know. But I did, look, look at this. Oh, it's halfway in the dip still. Look. That buffalo check fabric from the Dollar Tree, I think. And then that faux leather. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? I love that. Um, I only had the one, but, um. It's funny because my husband hates it. I'll put pillows in it. And then I'm like, don't use that. I don't want you to, you know. But anyway. And look at these. How cute. Did you make these? Those are adorable. The very, very thick. Very, yeah. Well made. And um, just too cute. I just think about, um, imagine if you had a little boy with a beach thing. I need a grandbaby, y'all. Anyway. I just need a, I need a baby. I want a baby. And I like, yeah, 50. Who needs, yeah. Anyway, am I 50? No, not yet. I will be this year. 
But then these, I don't... I, did, did you get these at the Dollar Tree? But, um, yeah, it won't be long. I'll be putting these on, but... Oh, there's a zipper. But look. Look how big those all were. I had saw some in the package at the Dollar Tree. But I didn't, um, I didn't get them. But look at this one. Look. Right? That is too cute. Anyway, um, and I don't want to... DIY them, and I don't, I don't think that's why you sent them, did you, Valerie? I want to actually use them in my house, because I just do, and, you know, I, I use the stuff that I make in my house, but anyway, let's, let's move on, but this is so cool, because you guys always hear me talk about that bag of brick and brack I got from the Dollar Tree, and how much I was like, that's just a bag of garbage, and I called it brick and brack. And I used the tar out of it. Well, anyway, look at all these Valerie sent me. I know, I'm sorry, it's loud. But I know, look at those. I will get some serious use out of these. Little windows for houses and stuff. And I'm always using fill-ins for, see, look, there's round ones. And then, um, look, look, sorry, look, look. There's smaller, like, look at that. I don't know, I'm trying to, yeah. And then, um... Uh, there's more, like, more square ones and more. Look at that. Oh, thank you so, so much. <laughs> you, I will totally get you saw that. And then these. And then, I, I don't know if these camera dogs. I thought these seemed smaller. I have used some of these already. Anyway. Oh, I scratched my nose with that bag. But those, the, I don't know. Are they smaller? Y'all was like, I don't know. I'm not there. I need to get them out of compare. But always use these little blocks. Always thank you again. But then, um, look, I just, I don't know, I didn't know, I don't know, I don't want to use stuff until I show everybody, because then I feel like I'm afraid I'll forget, and, it, you know, it won't get recognized, but look at these little ornaments. Aww. <laughs> little did, those look like, uh, very, like, Retro, oh, I, I love this one. This one's so cute. <laughs> and this one is the most, to say the least. <gasps> I love that one. I'll be, I mean, I won't get to use most of this stuff till next year, but um, I'm so glad. But then there is, y'all, I don't know where you got these, but girl, I need to know because I need to get me some more. I was so excited about these. I was like, dude. Anyway. And look. I don't know if I can. <laughs> look. Oh, look. They're wood. Some of them's got holes in the end of them. And I think maybe you, or maybe she did that. <laughs> yeah, because only this one does. Valerie, maybe you did that. Anyway, like, you paint them and put a skewer in them and put them in picks or beaded garlands or anything. I'm really, really excited about that. And then, um, about using those. And then, also, in this bag was, um, I got more of those little, they're just too cute. Was, uh, these little stars, these little wood stars. These would be great for, or they would have been good for a top of Christmas tree. But even 4th of July or anything like that. And then, um, look at these little hearts. Oh, my gosh. We'll be using those soon. And these have holes in the top. So, I'm not sure. Um, I'm goofy. So, how do you use those, I wonder? I mean, with the hole in it. Because that would be upside down if you put it in a... I don't know. But I'm going to use them for other things. And... This is just, look, a whole bag of those. Look at that, this stuff. I'm so, I was so excited over that. I was like, oh, yeah. seriously. I was like, Brenda, you won't believe what I have. And I showed her, oh, anyway. And then, I'm going to say, my favorite. I don't know, those bulbs were close. And the brick and brack was, and then the, um, I loved it all. But anyway, but look at these napkins. Aww. And these, this is really like, the texture on these is like crazy because, oh, it just reminds me of something that's old. You know what I mean? Like, look at that. 
Can y'all see it? Am I not showing it good? Look. Isn't that pretty? And then here. I love. This is my favorite bird. American uh, Finch. Look at that. The yellow. Isn't that pretty? I know. Look at the napkin. <gasps> to die for. Yeah. Anyway. And then there is this one. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all see it. Is it blurry? Anyway, and this is so very pretty. Look. I love that. That's so, like, this stuff is, reminds me of, like, oh, you know. Okay. All right. Now, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, I got more napkins. <sighs> I'm telling you, if the world ever ran out of, like, napkins or toilet paper, no, I wouldn't let anybody use these for toilet paper. But anyway, I like to try to um, put them in, and when you send them to me, in their own personal bags when I use them. I can remember, Because it's gotten to where it's so much, I can't remember everything anymore. Um, and I'm getting old. But y'all, y'all can't wait to use these. Oh my gosh. Look. <gasps> y'all see? Look at this rooster. Oh, my goodness. The eggs. Look at that. Wait a minute. Look at this. Wait a minute. This is just the bunny rabbit on the egg. Oh, my gosh. Is that not just too much? But this. this. Oh, look. Oh, my. Isn't that something? And look here. Oh, look at that. Oh, my good. Look how many is in a pack. And then look at this little bunny rabbit. Oh my gosh. I just could not. I was like, oh my gosh. Valerie, that you should have done that. This, this is just way too much. I mean, the whole box, honey. <laughs> we could have, you could have shared. I, I don't, I know I'm like, you could have shared them with me, but I don't mean it. I don't mean it like that even. You know what I mean? I just, you guys just, I don't know. And now I can't get them back in here correctly. Anyway. Um, I, I appreciate it so very much, and I am excited about all this stuff to you. I mean, I know, I'm so sorry it's so loud. I know it will get used, and, and I appreciate it so very much. I do. I love you, girl. Bye.